Hi, this is Kim Jolene with Finding Your Fiji, and I'm here doing a reading for my fellow Aries today for the month of July 2016. Yes, I'm an Aries too. So this reading is for us for the month of July. We're going to be covering the general aspects. We're going to be covering career and finances and actually using um, life purpose deck for that. And then we have Archangel Michael that's coming in for health and healing aspects for the month of July. And then lastly, we have the messengers from the angels, and that's usually a, a lot of the different goofy angels, as I call them, which will be helping us with messages for our relationships. And this month, it's not just all about romantic relationships. It's also about your um, friend relationships, family relationships, coworkers, that type of thing. So let's go ahead and get started, Aries. So for those of you that don't know me, maybe this is the first time that you've um, listened to a reading or watched a reading with me, I am also a feng shui expert and a life and business coach. And so oftentimes different information will come in related to that. And I just had my last reading that I did for our Pisces had Archangel Jophiel, who's our feng shui angel, came in and giving them some feng shui advice and some things that they need to do for themselves. Okay, being kind of particular there. All right, so let us go ahead and get started. And I don't read upside down cards. The angels give me the information that I need uh, around the cards, so I don't, I don't read what you would call reverse cards. Um, all right, so we've got six of water coming through, and the water cards are all about the depth of emotion. And lots of times when this card is coming up, you have been quite emotional, right? And what, what happens with this card, this card is related to your, um, I feel like the six is always related to career. So if you look at our feng shui bagua here, that's the um, bottom middle is the career area. Um, so the bottom part of this card where my fingers are, it would be kind of the front door area. And you can get a copy of this on my website. I have a free uh, download there for you that includes a color bagua and that will give you a little bit more information. But related to your career, I'm just feeling like there's um, uh, some things that are maybe coming up from your past that are needing to be dealt with. Um, so this is a big time right now for people being triggered and just for things to come up. Uh, so that we can react differently than we have before and that we can resolve whatever memories, um, things from our childhood, typically we created some sort of belief around that. And we've been sort of dragging that belief with us, right, all these years. And now is an opportunity to let go of beliefs that are no longer serving you. So that's part of what this card is about. And then um, the other um, piece of it is that you know, oftentimes I like to use the bus analogy. So sometimes we have, uh, you know, if you're female, a little girl from our our childhood, the little girl that we were, that's driving the flipping bus, okay? And what they're wanting you to do is um, to gently encourage and not encourage, actually to gently talk with your little girl that's driving the bus and explain to her that that's not her job anymore. Uh, that you're an adult now and you've got this. So lots of times we have this little girl um, or this little boy within us that's driving the bus and the angels are like, that can't continue to happen. You've got to shift that. You've got to get back in charge. Uh, deal with the emotions that came up for that little girl. Have compassion for that little girl, that little boy and um, get the message that's coming through and move on. So that's what we have there. And then we have Knight of Fire. So the fire cards are all about passion and action. And this is a duality card. So on the one hand, it is about a person. The other, the other side of this card is about um, uh, circumstance or an experience. So Knight of Fire is someone that is, of course, passionate because fire is passion, right? Um, they do like adventure. They like to get out there. They like to, you know, they like to try new things. They like to take risks, that type of thing. Um, they are, they are um, pretty sure of themselves, right, too. They're, they're confident that, you know, if you think of that fire personality. And two, they might have a little bit of trouble sitting still. Uh, and what this person is really um, about in the month of July for you guys is um, 
sort of, they might be someone that's pushing you to make a decision, uh, or they could be someone that's sort of helping you with a decision or giving you, you know, kind of background information. I just get that this person is related to a decision that you're making. And um, it's something that's going to come up rather suddenly, but yet you have to make a decision pretty quickly. And they're wanting you not to rush it, but really take your time and think things through, okay? It sounds counterintuitive. Oh, we've got to make this rest. We have to make this decision really quick. But you don't have to make it without thinking, okay? You don't have to make it without, you know, looking at the options, right? So they're just wanting, wanting you to um, think things through. And then this kink Knight of Fire can help you with that. And again, the Knight of Fire can be, just because it says Knight doesn't mean it has to be a man. It could be a woman. And so that, um, that is a, a potential of somebody that can help you. All right. And then we have another fire card. So lots of fire this month, Aries. And um, this is the Seven of Fire. And the, um, again, the fire cards are all about passion and action. And our Seven in the Feng Shui Bagua relates to our knowledge area. So down there on the, let's see, that would be your left. Um, the left corner is the knowledge area. And so what, um, what I'm getting around this is that <clears throat> part, of, part of what's going on for you is your things are coming up for you. And in the past, you may have been quiet and sort of swallowed your voice or not, not stood up for yourself. And that can't happen any longer. You need to really speak up for yourself and your beliefs. So kind of stand up for what you believe in. And um, it, it's time to use your voice. So I know for many, many years I was there. I was married for about 19 years and did not, um, did not often use my voice in regards to what I really wanted, what I truly wanted. And um, so it, it's important that you shift that now and um, the things that are important to you, the beliefs, the, the um, you know, those things that are close to your heart, speak up about those. Um, yet, there's some things that you can let go. So there's some things that just aren't really that important in the grand scheme of things. They're not really that important. And those things, they're wanting you to let go. So kind of, you know, when you think about children, like, okay, should, are we going to argue about this? Or are we going to argue about that? Like, what's most important? Some stuff is like, you know, uh, it's not that important. So let, let those things go that aren't that important this month. Okay, so let's move on to our, so this is our, we're using the Life Purpose deck for your career and finances for the month of July, Aries. And we'll see what we have here. And they had me change the deck because I've been using another deck for all the other readings for career and finances. And for you guys, for Aries, they asked me to change the deck. And so, of course, I always listen. And they just have more information that they want to give you about your um, career and finances. So this is the Light and Love card. And what this is really signifying and letting you know is that part of your life, life purpose is to be light and love in the world. And so to bring that forth, to shine that, to be an example of that for others, and it sounds like it might be kind of a weighty thing, but it's not actually. All it is is like letting your inner light shine out. Uh, that's all this is really about um, because your inner light helps heal others and you have a gift uh, in that regard. Um, and that's part of what you're meant to be doing is shining that forth, okay? So as I, I was thinking of Brendan Burchard, uh, who talks about bringing the joy. And so that's part of your life purpose is bring the joy. Wherever you go, bring the joy, bring the joy. Uh, it doesn't matter if other people are crabby or whatever. Bring the joy because that will affect them and their energy as well. Okay, and then they, they want you to talk to your angels. So you're not talking to your angels enough, uh, Aries. They want you to talk to them more. Uh, and a big piece of this is because you have been getting into sort of a worrying sense or um, falling into that rut of worrying, they're wanting you, instead of wasting your time and energy on worrying, to talk to them, share with your angels and guides what it is you need, what it is you want, what you need help with, so that they can step in and help you. Because the fact of the matter is they cannot help you unless you ask. 
And so you really do need to, again, use your voice. We've got, we've got sort of a theme erupting here. And that is about using your voice so that you can, you know, call on them, right? Um, ask for their guidance because they're, they're ready and willing to help you. And then we have the environmentalist card. And so this is related to, um, typically related to the outdoors or to animals. Uh, you have a very strong connection with the outdoors. Like it's one of those things that really helps you when you're in a place where you don't feel very good, where it's, excuse my French, but shit is hitting the fan. Um, it is best for you to go outside, get in nature, be around animals, something to do with the environment. And the other piece that I'm getting in around this is that your physical environment around you really affects you. Um, so bringing nature inside is going to be really helpful, getting rid of anything that no longer serves you. Uh, you know, feng shui is all about the energy of your space and creating an environment that energetically lifts you up. So if you need any help with that, let me know. Uh, but that's what I'm getting around that. And I'm not getting anything specifically um, around finances other than I'm feeling like things are opening up for you. And so um, it, it feels like, you know, that, that um, time period where you had sort of a belt tightening or just it, it felt more restrictive, that feels like it's opening up for you. And so I do see more. Um, more openings, more flow for you. And that again, as long as you're talking to your angels, connecting with them, asking for guidance and listening and following, taking that in, in guided action uh, is really, really important. Okay, so let's move on to Archangel Michael for our health and healing for the month of July for Aries 2016. Okay, let's see what Michael has to say to us, Aries. All right. So, um, Archangel Michael wants you to ask him for help. No surprise there, right? Open your mouth and ask for help with a situation. So, related to something related um, to your health or healing that's required in your life. And, and health can be mental, spiritual, um, physical, of course, emotional, there's all kinds of different healing that you might need at this time. And so whatever it is for you that's coming up that's giving you some difficulty. I know myself, I've had a lot of stuff I've been processing. And um, as my one friend says, it's not for sissies, this work. Uh, because it, you do. You, it, when stuff comes up, you get those emotions, you're crying, you're upset, you know yeah it's not it's not always fun but ask them for help because that's what they're there for they want to help you with this this particular situation all right um and they want to let you know that your home is protected by angels so just so you know your physical environment because that is something that's so important to you too um, the angels are coming in to help protect your home and to keep it safe and there are of course some feng shui things that are affecting our homes um, always, but then also in this year of the monkey, there's specific things that are affecting that. So if you have any questions around that, feel free to book. I have a 20 minute virtual coffee chat that I do for free, I offer for free. So feel free to book that if you have some questions or have something specific that's coming up for you around that. It's not a reading. So I just wanna make that clear. The virtual coffee chat, I do not do readings. I do not pull cards during those. Um, this is just an opportunity for me to get to know you um, a little bit better and then to give you one or two ideas, um, you know, a couple ideas to help you shift um, where you're at right now. So it's not a reading, it's not coaching, it's just a, a connection call. So think about it as having coffee with a friend. So if you'd like to have coffee with me virtually, um, you can book that. Um, there's a link on my website if you go on findingyourfiji.com. It's a schedule now, just book a virtual coffee chat and that's what that would be. All right. And then, <laughs> so funny. So the environmentalist comes up and then we get spend more time outdoors. So to improve your health, they're wanting you to get outside more. Um, again, because that's very grounding for you. It helps you let go of the stress that you might be carrying, the worry that you might be carrying. When you're outside walking or doing things outside, you don't feel that. Um, you feel lighter. You feel like you can breathe deeper. Um, 
you know, connecting with flowers and trees and all that kind of thing, touching nature is so, so valuable, so important. All right. So moving on to our relationships, Aries, for the month of July 2016. And again, these are not necessarily all about romance. Uh, some of the information that's coming up has to do with friend relationships, has to do with um, co-workers. It could be your, um, your um, birth family, you know, just any type of relationship is what these are, are talking about. So we'll see what specifically is coming up for our Aries for this month. All right. So we have Celeste, Archangel, or well, it's not Archangel, but Angel Celeste. And um, Celeste is, um, what I'm getting around this is about um, moving to a new home um, or a new job, okay? So what I'm getting around, the, and sometimes, sometimes what this can be around too is um, when you shift the energy in your space, it can feel like a new home. So for those of you that don't have any plans to move, you're secure in your job, all that kind of stuff. Um, and I, the reason I'm mentioning this too is because that's me. Like I, I in, enjoy um, my work, I enjoy my home, and it's just, you know, shifting the energy is about clearing out stuff that doesn't serve me any longer. That's going to feel different when, when I do that, right? And so, but for some of you, you are moving. Uh, and there's some of you that are moving your home, some of you that are actually moving to a different place of employment. And so it's going to bring positive change and positive energy for you. All right. And then um, we have Angel Teresa, and this is a timeout card. So this is really about um, just needing, you need a timeout. You need some time away. You need some time to um, really recharge your batteries. And... Um, this uh, related to relationships, um, you know, you've just been so busy taking care of everyone else that it's really time for you to do that internal work, that um, internal self-care is basically what it is. So it's time to stop and take care of yourself is essentially what that is. And love yourself, right? Do those things that really are feel good to you and light you up. All right. And then we have um, Opal, Angel Opal. And this is just Opal's wanting to let you know that she is taking care of your children um, here on earth and in heaven. And these can be pet children as well. So if you have pets that have um, are here on earth or, or in heaven. And really they're just letting you know that they're cared for. And so that, that seems to be one thing that you tend to worry about is your children, whether it's your um, physical babies and children or pets something that you tend to worry about and they're wanting to let you know that you don't need to do that because they are being cared for they are being watched over and uh, all is well in that regard okay I've got a couple extra cards that we are going to go through here so we have the strength card which is Archangel Ariel and I love Ariel I always think of her as sort of the love angel I really enjoy her um, and this is really about that inner strength that you have. And so um, what she's wanting you to do and the information that's coming through around this is um, to see things more in a rainbow light. So like, um, you know, how when there's a storm and then the sun shines and then you have this rainbow. So be anticipating the rainbow because it is going to get brighter for you and you have developed a lot of strength. Um, from going through what are, whatever it is that you've been going through. So letting go of the judgments of yourself, because um, sometimes we're like beating ourselves up for not being able to shift things, right? Or um, for getting ourselves in this position in the first place. And so stop that. They're just like, no, don't do that. Let go of those judgments that doesn't help anyone, and least of all you. Um, so again, it's about that forgiveness and compassion kind of um, forgiving yourself and others and having that compassion all right and then um, the writing card is coming up so you are a uh, part of your life purpose does relate to writing and they're wanting you uh, to um, you know wanting to let you know that the words you heal you write do help heal others so they inspire they entertain they you know they're just it's a good thing. So if you're not currently writing, I encourage you to do that. And that can be as simple as picking up a journal and just start writing. It can be writing a blog. It can be, you know, starting a book. It can be, you know, any, any number of ways that you can write. It can be posts that you put on Facebook, for that matter. 
or a Twitter or whatever it is, but your words do have an impact on other people and that is part of your life purpose. Okay, and then um, Archangel Michael, just want to let you know that God is in charge. Uh, so this is really just letting you know that it is, um, and I'm going to just read the prayer that's around that. Um, because oftentimes we get so attached to the outcome and, and the way, way things we, the way we want things to go. Uh, and this just says, Dear God, please help me let go of this situation. Giving it in faith and trust to your divine wisdom and infinite love in order to resolve and heal everything and everyone involved. So it's really about, you know, um, offering it up to God and the angels to take care of, to handle it. Um, so really, and I did this, it sounds funny, but I did this the other day with my um, internet. I was wanting to get a new internet service and the first person I sent out couldn't get it hooked up for me. So I'm like, okay, angels, like if you want me to shift this or move this, because it would save me about $50 a month. Uh, so I'm like, if, if this is, you know, for my highest good, please make this arrangement. And so I ended up, the company called me and they said, oh, do you mind if we try this again? We'll send somebody else out. And they did. And uh, the guy was able to hook it up for me. And I had a great conversation with him about some of the relationship issues he was going through. And uh, so just yeah so offering it up to them and just letting go of the outcome like i was like okay if i'm supposed to keep my my current service great if i'm not then this will happen and it did so that's just letting you know the the power of letting go all right and then we have angel ariel coming through this is a beautiful card too i don't see this one very often um this is really about um the things that are happening for you, the things that you're experiencing, it might even be part of it, might even be these readings where you're getting some new insights, some new spiritual guidance, things that you didn't um, really know about before. And it's shifting the way you view things. It's shifting the, your view of the world and of yourself. And um, so they're just wanting you to really open up to allow those spiritual gifts that we all have. We all have spiritual gifts. So it's opening up to allow those spiritual gifts to work in your life and to be open um, to learning more. So that can be studying, it can be through meditation, of course, it can th be through prayer, um, whatever that is for you. It can be taking classes, all kinds of different things, but they're just wanting to, you to open up to those experiences and the things that you are learning. So. Uh, that is what I have for you, Aries, for the month of July 2016. I'm offering a summer special in my readings, 15% off if you use the code SUMMER, S-U-M-M-E-R. There is a link to book down below here, or you can also go on my website and just there's a schedule now button, and you can um, click that button and just schedule any reading. I do 30 minutes, 60 minutes, and I think I have my two-hour readings on there now as well. Oh, and 15 minutes. If you just have one question, like if... If you just have one question, need a really quick, you know, answer, I do offer 15 minute readings. And again, it's really, all you can really ask in that is one question. So if you have more than one question, I do ask that you book um, a longer reading just because it, it's Im nearly impossible to get multiple questions answered in 15 minutes. So um, that is what I have for you. Uh, remember to relax, have fun, and enjoy your life. Much love to you, Aries. Did you enjoy your angel reading? I'm sure questions have popped up for you about specifics in your own life. To get answers personalized just for you, click below to schedule your appointment. You can use coupon code ANGEL20 to save 20% on any one of my readings. For more information about me and Finding Your Fiji services, go to FindingYourFiji.com. Enjoy your day.